What's going on y'all? We are out here today. Got this beautiful lake right here behind me. Made a little bit of a drive north, but we got the Hobie Pro Angler rigged up and heavy winds down on the south on the coastline typically have me up in the woods bass fishing. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're kinda in that late February, early March pattern, have some warm weather. I think these fish might be moving up on a bed or getting close to it. So it's gonna be a little bit of figuring out, seeing where these fish are, but I got a feeling we're gonna get on some. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get out here and get on some good fish. So we're out here on the lake now, about to get ready to start throwing. And I have a Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is a swamp gold color. It is an awesome creature bait for bass, especially when they're up on a bed. I got that rigged up on an eighth ounce shaky head jig head. And yeah, that guy right there is gonna catch a ton of bass, I got a feeling. I'm gonna go ahead and start off right here. I got this real shallow grass flat that's out in front of me. And uh, it is an area where these bass are gonna be pulling up. So it should be a good spot to maybe pick off a couple. There we go. That is our first bass. He bit real fast right here by the boat. Not that big of a fish. Probably about 12 and a half inches or so. But that is our first fish on the hoodwink. All right, see you, dude. We did swap from the Swamp Gold over to the Midnight Reaper just because the water here is so clear i felt like that gold flake was a little too bold but yeah so kind of like a june bug color right here that we're throwing and we started off working around some grassy areas around that way and wasn't picking up any fish decided to come over here fish the dam side and just picked up our first bite of the day Oh my God, that was a, that was a good bite. We just missed a heck of a thump. There he goes. There we go. Not a giant, but it's definitely a good one. Get in the boat, baby. All right. That right there is bass number two. Missed a couple of them over there on the dam and I came back to the area where I started this morning and BAM! Got our second fish right here. Throw it on a measuring board real quick. I think it's going to go somewhere probably in the ballpark of 15. Yeah. Just shy of 15 right there. But we are still trying to figure out the piece of this puzzle. But we're just going to come through here, work this area again. From there, we might go hit some points and some other stuff. Still trying to figure it out. Fishing ain't always easy. A lot of times, you know, there's a lot of random stuff that happens throughout your day where you're trying to piece everything together. And that's kind of what we got now. You know, just a bunch of random bites. And it could be that they're just not really feeding or acting aggressive right now. We're kind of post front. You can see the cloud covers moving through right here. So the bite may be shut down just a little bit. We're just gonna keep on chipping away at this thing, seeing what we can figure out. There he is. Another little one. All right. Bass number three. Back on the dam. Uh oh. Uh oh. I must have him hooked weird because he was staying down. Bass number four. 
third bass on the dam. Bye bye. There he is. That's a better bass. That might be the biggest one so far. Yeah, that's a 15 incher. Easing on up. Bouncing around once again. This is bass number five. Oh, they are definitely eating the hoodwink. Pop him on the measuring board real quick. We're just having to work around to, uh, that's actually 14 and a half. So, gotta find some bigger ones. But yeah, if y'all can't tell, the wind is really, really bad, especially on that side of the lake right there. It's, uh, I mean, pretty much, I was just on the other side and it was just white capping real bad coming through there. So, pretty much confined to this corner of the lake right here, which just kind of has me bouncing back and forth between the dam and this grass flat that I'm out in front of. Definitely some bass here. We have missed some really good bites. We got to find something bigger than that. I would love to get out of here with an 18 inch or better. This lake has gotten extremely tough over the years. They opened it up about three, four years ago. And uh, every year it just continues to get tougher and tougher because you get more and more people that are out here fishing and you've exposed these fish to, you know, a, a ton of different lures. <laughs> just about every bass in here has seen a spinnerbait, uh, a rattle trap, um, worms and things like that, which makes this hoodwink very, very attractive because this is something that they've never seen before. And um, oftentimes when you introduce something new to a lake that gets a lot of pressure, you can pick up a lot of bites on it. And we've only been out here for about, I don't know, two hours now. Uh, we've done a lot of traveling, looking around, and you know once again just kind of confined to this corner this stretch you got the dam right here and then this huge grass flat out in front of them it's probably three feet you know all the way about 100 yards off the bank so far we've picked up five fish and i think we've missed two or three solid bites There he is. That's a good one. There we go. We finally stuck us a good bass, y'all. That is a nice one right there. He's staying down. Oh, yeah. Big bass. Come here. Stay down, dude. All right. He's hooked good. Boom, well, y'all, there we go. We finally stuck us a good one. That right there is bass number six. And that is a solid three pounder or so. Y'all look where that hood winks at right there, man. Good, beautiful bass. Let's go ahead and get this hook out of her. We're gonna stick her on the old measuring board. See what she goes. 19 inches that right there is a good one y'all all right girl well we did finally stick us a good one out here go ahead and get a good release on her let that girl go bye bye Whew. all right so we are out here having a good time still haven't put this puzzle together i mean we're just bouncing all over really these none of these bass are just piled into one deal um i caught that one They're probably sitting around nine or ten foot of water throwing off the bank right here throwing away from the dam and picked up a big one so maybe that might be the deal for finding some bigger ones but check it out i'm just real curious to know what is your favorite 
bass lure what lure do y'all go out there and target bass with the most what's your confidence lure i'd love to know y'all comment that below i'd love to see what y'all's favorite lures are well if y'all can't tell my favorite lure is the hoodwink i love throwing it especially for speckled trout flounder and bass y'all see how much this wind is kicked up here today and that is why we're not out on the coast chasing down some speckled trout because it is just way way too windy figure getting up here around these trees i'd be a little bit protected which i am in that one pocket up there you know when i get away from that tree line it just it gets rough it's all right though we're catching fish there he is there we go little guy that is bass number seven appreciate it see ya if y'all do want to purchase these lures i will have a link down in the description check them out that does help support us so i do appreciate it see if we can land us another one of those big ones though mm, got them there they are that one's staying down stay down that one's feeling good yeah that's not a bad bass at all get in the boat baby get in the boat bass number eight think we found them they're definitely fired up right now boom appreciate it girl that one's that's beautiful bass a lot darker than the other ones we've caught today bye bye y'all i don't do it a whole lot but i absolutely love bass fishing in my opinion a bass is you know one of the harder fish to catch and you know to me certainly harder than catching a flounder redfish or trout a lot of times they're very temperamental they only want certain things certain presentations and they can be really really tricky to catch but we are on them right now i'm just taking that lure like i said i got it rigged up on an eighth ounce shaky head I'm letting it get all the way to the bottom probably sitting about 10 foot of water out there where i'm throwing and just giving it several light bumps reeling in my slack and just pretty much working it like that through the retrieve making that tail kind of you know give it some good flutters let it settle back down that way if a bass peeks up the trail he can kind of get behind it sniff it out shake it in his face a couple times and get him to commit to it I love throwing a soft plastic on a shaky head though, especially when it's tough. It's one of the easiest ways to get a bass to bite is to put on a shaky head jig head with a soft plastic and just work it slow. And you're sure to get some bites that way. So the setup that I'm using to throw this hoodwink on a shaky head right here is a uh, Shimano Corrado 70 MGL Awesome Reel. I got that paired up with 10 pound Suffix 832 braid and 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, but the rod is, <laughs> this is a chubby rod, 72 medium fast action and it is one heck of a machine um at around 130 dollars so this is 100 percent made in america uh with american tackle components it's actually uh put together by doug out of atmore alabama who owns chubby rods um and these retail for 130 dollars so for 130 dollars um they are probably one of the best rods on the planet at that price point i mean they are amazing um and it, i mean it just deflects those lures really really well and they are i mean just i can't say enough good things about these rods um they have quickly become some of my favorites 
all right so not a bad morning out here check it out if y'all like this bass content i know it's not stuff that i normally put out on the channel but if y'all get this video to 700 likes i will put out a lot more of this content you can also leave me a comment saying more bass content you know if you want to comment that below that will also let me know that y'all like the bass content uh, but anyways the wind is just kicking up it's about noon now we've been out here for about three and a half four hours caught eight or nine bass missed a couple of good bites had a solid morning out here i can't complain i enjoyed it uh it was peaceful and uh just had an awesome time on the water i hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed being out here uh if y'all would hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time